Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I got asked a question in person the other day by someone who kind of has some idea what I do here, that I do this YouTube thing, that I work out and everything, and they asked me the question, hey, how long do you think it would take for me to get in shape? And this is someone who is, you know, obviously overweight, but is interested in getting in shape, interested in losing weight, and that's what we need to be encouraging. But here's the point that we always come back to. The people who focus upon how quick they can do this are the ones who always rebound. I mean, looking at this Biggest Loser study, which I just did yesterday, uh, kind of highlights that point. These people made massive fat loss gains and got in shape in 30 weeks. Six years later, they regained most of the weight. They were not able to keep it off because they did a really extreme method, an intense method that they were not able to sustain for life. And had many of these people, instead of in 30 weeks, taken two years, three years to reach their goal, they probably would have changed their overall lifestyle in a manner that would uh, result in that. And the same thing happens with uh, bodybuilders. All these bodybuilders set timelines to compete. And I need to remind people that bodybuilding itself isn't healthy or fit to compete in bodybuilding. These people always have timelines to get in shape and they obviously can't sustain what they reach. Not that it would even be desirable to do so, but the point is even they rebound afterwards. And these are considered to be the leanest, most ripped people in the world. They can't even sustain it. Now, that's largely due to the fact that that is unsustainable, but they set timelines. They are also riddled with eating disorders, body image disorders, things like that. Their methods are generally going to be undesirable for people who just want to get in shape and be healthy. So when you ask the questions like, how long should it take me to get in shape? How fast can I reach this goal? You're not thinking in terms of the lifestyle change, the positive lifestyle change is something that you just integrate as part of your daily life over time, over the months, over the years, instead of looking for a quick fix, because the people who look for the quick fix, they never stick it out in the long term and they never keep their results. So people need to not ask this question, how long, instead of what sort of lifestyle should I start incorporating? What sort of activity and dietary changes should I start incorporating over time to eventually reach that goal and keep that goal in the long term? Don't set timelines, set changes in behavior so that they become permanent parts of your life. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.